Okay, guys. So, um, when you last left me, the engine was still in the bay. Um, some of you might see my post on um, well, M606 Super Turbos on uh, Facebook, but basically I had the engine out. Uh, did anybody guess what I had forgotten? I can tell you now. It was the torque converter bolts. I had left the torque converter bolted to the engine, which made things a little bit uh, problematic. I think what I'll do when I'm do, doing the install of the OM606 I'll put the torque converter on this, on the actual gearbox. I will try and get a kind of push back as far as possible. Now it is sort of already pushed back as far as possible. I'll loosen these bolts as well, uh, just to give it a little bit of a, a slide on it. And then I might actually um, bring the whole end, the whole car down, uh, obviously to get the engine in and um, uh, I will possibly uh, put a jack underneath that gearbox to bring it up straight so that I don't catch that upper edge. So basically I'm just coming straight down and then I'll be able to hopefully slide the, the engine back while it's still on the hoist to line up with the splines or line up with the torque converter. Um, I won't bolt the torque converter on. I'll, what I'll do is I'll get it all to line up and then um, uh, get them on the, 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 get the engine and everything onto this. I might put a few bolts in along the bell housing just so it, it stays together. Um, I don't know. Like uh, maybe, I'm, that, maybe that's the best route. I don't actually know what is the best route. I could also take these uh, engine supports out um, so that they're not in the way and then bolt it all together, use the, use a, a jack possibly, or actually, do you know what, I could bolt it all together, um, bring it up without these engine supports in place, if you know what I mean, uh, bring it up a bit with the, the bottle, or with the um, transmission jack, and then fit these in, that might be the way to do it. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's that's not for today. Today's mission is to clean this engine bay. Or, uh, yeah, clean this engine bay of all the grease. I had the, the gearbox pan off and I was trying to clean it. Uh, I actually just put the old gasket back on. Um, and the reason for that is because I'm going to be using petrol to do this cleaning. So I said, put the old gasket on, clean off all the grime and grit, and then ch do my, my gasket on that. Then, I did already put in my diesel um, shift actuator. So that came from the 722.4 gearbox that was in the OM606 NA um, W124 model. So that basically gets a feed off the manifold, but I believe the springs are rated to the diesel's uh, vacuum or, or um, yeah, vacuum it puts out rather than the... Uh, Petrol one, which would be a higher revving vehicle and such, would have a higher vacuum. Um, so that should help it shift more accurately for a, uh, a diesel's vacuum, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, that's, that's that. I've already tried cleaning this and uh, it's not going too well. Uh, I don't mind the paint here and stuff like that because I might end up actually just spray, spraying this with that same, uh, that straight, same paint that I have. I have some of it left. And I might just coat this all with that so that it's nice and protected. Um, uh, same goes for the likes of the front bar here and that. So, that's today's mission. So today's mission, I'm going to get a bit of bit of petrol, put it into, or gas if you're um, an American. I'm going to put that into a spray gun and I'm going to spray all this area down, agitate it, wipe it off, um, possibly spray it again. And then even after that, I might uh, use a like of a watering can or something just to control. I don't mind the ground getting wet. As you can see, it's all messy here. I don't mind not getting wet. But if I open, start a power washer in here, it's going to spray my walls. It's going to spray the thing. It's going to spray the camper van that's behind me. I don't want any of that. So I'm just going to use this, um, a watering can to get rid of it. The great thing about using the petrol, which when we were talking about it uh, yesterday on, on the OM606, Super Turbo Facebook page, petrol evaporates. So I can get this everywhere. 
and then once I leave it for a little bit, it's going to evaporate. Like it's not going to leave puddles for too long. And um, the downside is it's also more corrosive. So I need to make sure that I kind of blow it away. I have the airline there with uh, the air gun, so I'll be able to get blow a lot of it away as well. Um, I'm just looking, guys, I'm hoping that this will work. I don't want to have to put this down and wheel it out the door. I don't think I'll be able to do it on my own um, with a camper van so close by and then try and get it back into place later on. And getting it out might be well and good, but getting it back in will also be time consuming. So anyway, hoping that that's the, today's plan. Um, yeah, I'll check back in with you now when I've done a bit of it. <laughs> happened since we last spoke um, I ended up obviously having to power wash so what I did was I sprayed the entire bay with petrol um, and started scrubbing away and I was getting getting good enough results but um, it eats through it lovely uh, but I was just basically smudging it more than anything. Um, and I know I could have been wiping at the same time. But uh, basically I was, it was getting very kind of labour intensive for the amount of uh, payoff, for the amount of time I was putting in. So what I did was I sprayed it with the, uh, with the, with the petrol, as you've seen, or as I said. And then after that, I... Um, came in with the power washer i tried the petrol power washer here that i borrowed from a friend and uh, the cable um spring broke on the first pull so uh i'm gonna have to gonna have to pick up a new spring for that before i return it back to him um but i never even got to using it so i've never actually gotten to use that so um what i did was i went and got my my you know my cheap uh, electric power washer and just sort of went to town on it now the results are quite good i think i'm happy with with how it's turned out i'm going to spray that cross member or yeah i think i'll spray it or paint it by hand with the epoxy um the epoxy uh paint you know the two-part paint that i got uh, from rust buster um but as you can see, the results are quite nice. I'm going to remove some of the electrics here and I'll be able to clean that by hand underneath. The starter motor um, might well be able to use the the three litre petrol starter motor. Never have to touch any of the wiring or anything, that'd be handy. Um, I'm going to have a look into that. I will then go around, I have to clean the scuttle and stuff like that as well. Clean it up a bit, but again, that is the kind of stuff that can be done um, it can be done, you know, kind of as I go. It can be done even after the end, the build is done. 
I'd like maybe to uh, paint this here. So maybe, maybe it is a case of better off to do it now. We'll see. See how time permits um, and how busy I am. If I get a moment where I'm quiet, maybe I'll do that. Anyway, got the engine bay nice and cleaned. The whole workshop is flooded. Uh, so I'll, I'll have to basically sweep it the whole way out the door. Um, but yeah, so far so good, guys. Just a little touching base on that. Uh, the gearbox still kind of manky, I think. It's looking a bit better, but it's... I got basically the heavy grease, I think, off it. But uh, it is still going to be quite... Uh, manky. Um, yeah, so, simple thing. Uh, probably should have done an awful lot of that before, with a petrol power washer, before uh, starting the project even. Or maybe, maybe the way you start one of these projects is you pull the engine first while it's all still on its wheels, you wheel it out, you power wash it, um, and then actually, do you know what I would do is I, I would trailer it over, power, do, pull the engine, power wash it, trailer it over to a sandblasting place and get them to sandblast the hole on their body. Um, and then wheel it back in and then see where you stand. That'll be my thinking on it for the next project. Not that there'll be a next project anytime soon. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. Just a quick update. Cheers. Bye.